Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I know we've been talking all morning about things starting to cool off. Winter is coming, but there's still a small sliver of time that we can talk about golf here locally. And let's bring in an expert around the Utah area, Ryan Karchner. You have just been named the brand new Promontory Club's director of golf. But aside from that, you've been involved in the golfing community in the state of Utah for years and years and years. You're also president of the PGA in Utah. And now you have a new job title to add to the resume. What does that mean for you personally? Well, I'm, I'm really excited to be back to, to Promontory. This is my second stint going, going back. I was, I was uh, a head pro at Promontory uh, back in 2007 to 2010. And uh, it's just, Promontory is such a special place, an unbelievable community. It's, it's, uh, it's just got a great presence and, and uh, you know, um, just name and golf in Utah and stuff. I'm ex just excited to be affiliated and be part of that, be able to leave, lead that part of uh, Promontory in the industry. There's two different golf courses. At this point, though, only one of them is open. As I said, the snow is coming. Yep. It's inevitable. <laughs> it is un inevitable. <laughs> we we got to get the courses ready for the winter and stuff like that, especially where, where we're at um, in the hills up there. It takes a lot of preparation to get those courses ready uh, for the winter, just prepared for uh, laying chemical down and stuff like that. There's, uh, you know, if, you put, if you don't put your chemical down and it's, it snows on you, there's a good chance you could wake up uh, in the spring with some with snow mold or some issues in the golf course and stuff. So we put up uh, fences around all the greens and stuff like that because there's some uh, migrating paths of the elk and deer and stuff like that that can damage the greens and stuff. So it takes a little while to get, to get ready for the, the winter. Is it strange for you to take over at this point? Because you just took over last week and the season's almost over. Yeah, it was it, definitely a little bit different time to start, <laughs> you know, yeah. working at the golf course. I, I started uh, on, the, on the first, and we actually shut down the Painted Valley go uh, Golf Course on, uh, on the third. So just a couple days on that one, and then we actually shut down the, the die course, which will be on the 15th, which is next Sunday. What should we expect from you in your new position? Is there any changes? Is there any big things that you plan on doing over there at the club? Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I, I'm, re I'm really just really looking to uh, enhance the members' experience at Promontory. So a couple of things that I kind of specialize in and is that I, I feel like I've done very well in my career is, is just my member guest events that I put on for the members. Um, we really try going, going big on some of that stuff. So I'm coming from uh, Hidden Valley Country Club in Sandy, Utah, which is a really, really nice 27-hole uh, um, private facility down in Sandy and uh, you know we, we really got into our member guests and making it that experience something that the members and the guests don't want to don't want to miss and I kind of pride myself in the sense that that uh, even the guests plan their plan their summer and their vacations around my member guests down in, in, in Hidden Valley so I'm really looking to make that experience at uh, a promontory the men's ladies and maybe even the couple's member guests really as, as good as it can possibly be. For all so. the golfers out there, what are they supposed to do during the winter time? <laughs> well, that's another program that I usually <laughs> I, I do as well. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's exactly. a good question. Yeah, it is a really good question. <laughs> what are we going to do when it snows and stuff? So, but I, I try to. Um, I also do member trips, so that's one thing that I'm going to really focus on as well. Is the, again the members' experience outside of of Promontory, what we can do. I usually do a, a trips like I did down in Hidden Valley for my members. I, I'll take them to the Masters, um, and we'll play golf around that. But experience that turn, that tournament uh, last year. I, I took a, a group of members. We went to Ireland and Scotland and stuff like that. So we're going to try to do a little, a few events outside of Promontory. When we can't, when we can't play golf at Promontory, we're still going to be thinking about golf. I guess you have a little bit of clout being the president of the PGA. A, a little bit. So yeah, it has its privileges. <laughs> yeah. So and speaking, good connections. And speaking of that, <clears throat> with Danny Summerhays and with Tony Finau, both PGA golfers, and they've had a lot of success in the past few years. What does that do locally for the golfing community? boosting things here in Utah. Yeah, it does it does a lot actually. You know, um you know the leadership, especially especially what the, those guys have done, uh, Tony Finau and including Zach Blair, Zach Blair and Daniel Samarhays, those guys are on the tour right now. But they are all products of our junior golf uh, programs that we've had in Utah. You know, they came up. All three of them, I'm, I'm pretty sure Zach has as well, have won the Utah uh, State Amateur. But they, you know, they they were kids in our programs growing up, and it really gives you know kids nowadays that are kind of come up to see, hey, you know, there's there's a bar that has been set with these guys, and and it's attain obtainable. You can you can get on the PGA Tour if you work hard and you go through the you know put the the time and the effort that you need to that to, to do that and and we have some great college programs with the BYU Utah Utah State you know don't want to leave anybody out but they all have really good golf programs and the kids the kids that are going through our junior programs right now are really some unbelievable great golfers so it's going to be great to see what they can do on the national level as well. There's a lot of potential. There really is, yeah. yeah. Also though for people locally, is there ever a chance to get a big PGA Tour event? come through Utah. I know there's what the web.com PGA Tour, the Utah Championship, which is a big deal in itself, but 
still it's not as widely known. Sure. Could there ever be a shot at that? Yeah, yeah, and you're talking now some about my long-term goals as well. <laughs> <laughs> you Sorry, know. I, you're yeah. here, I have to ask. Yeah, exactly, no. <laughs> you know, um, you know, the, the thing that we challenge, that are a little bit of challenge for us here in Utah is our elevation, you know. Uh, the elevation that we're at, you hit the ball so far, and the guys on the tour hit the ball so far. Tony Finau being one of those bombers, those guys that just hit it forever. Especially you get here in Park City, and we have a golf course over a promontory that's one of the longest in the nation. It's 8,100 yards from, from all the way back from the tips. And that's that's pretty close to as long as, as it needs to be, but even then, it, you know, you struggle for some length for these guys because they hit it so far, and that's always a little bit of, it's been a little bit of a challenge for some of the courses that they can go to. But I think that, uh, you know, there, you know, there, I would love for us to be on the map when it comes to either a national uh, championship or even just a PGA Tour event. And there's some possibilities for that, but it does, we get, you know, we definitely need to position ourselves with certain courses because it's, it's not just having a long course as well. It's having the infrastructure of being able to, you know, get a lot of people on those golf course walking around and that sort of thing and stuff. So, but Park City would be a great place for that. I'd, I'd love for, love to see, you know, something like that uh, come to fruition here in Park City. So I think it's a possibility. You could maybe make some changes. I'm going to work on, I'm working hard on that. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, so be the director of golf and then you bring a PJ tour fan. I mean, you'd be legendary <laughs> around here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'd love to make that happen. That'd be great. And lastly, for people, where can they get information further about becoming a member or just getting involved over at Promontory? Yeah, you know, um, Promontory's got a great website, so there's a lot of things on there that you could easily click around and find out more information on it and stuff like that. But uh, we have a great sales team up there that uh, are willing to help. You make one phone call, you're going to have somebody follow up and invite you to the property and be able to experience Promontory because it is it is a special place. It's it's uh, you know it's it's nationally known. Um, it's funny because I being the president, I talked to a lot of pros around the nation, and and uh, I called even a buddy in Florida the other day and told him I was moving up to Promontory, and he's like, oh, I got like a member that's a member at Promontory, <laughs> and he's in the middle of nowhere in Florida, you know. So, but it's it's, it's very well known in, in the golf community, uh, in Park City, and in, in the communities outside of outside of Utah. That uh, it's a special place. It's awesome up there. Hi, right, Ryan. So great to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. joining us here yeah, on the Mount Morning Thanks for having me. Show. Appreciate it. And enjoy the one week, two weeks that you have exactly, left of golf yeah. season. Yeah, not too much. <laughs> but I appreciate you having me. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you. And we will be right back here on the Mountain Morning Show.